Hey, welcome back, another day, another vlog. Great to have you back here with us. Whew. Well, the first night shift always sucks. Um, it used to be not too bad at it. Um, for s but uh, ever since I've come back from parental leave, first one has crushed me. That's two in a row that has just knocked me for six. Again last night, just boom, I just feel like, yeah, I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck. No fun whatsoever. Um, obviously, you haven't done anything for the video stuff, because yesterday afternoon, when yesterday's video, I'd come back from the walk, and it's obviously not. I'm going to try and do some more, and going to get some sleep, and then wake up early and do some today. <clears throat> so I should have a bit more of an update for you on the video by tomorrow's vlog, so yeah. Forgive me on that, but yeah, not much we can do about that. It's, I definitely need some sleep, so it's not, I'm not even going to attempt it today. I'm just going to clean my e emails out, put the TV on, and pass out in bed. So that's that's today's plan. Uh, I'm sure if you any of these guys out there work night shift, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, it's yeah, the first one or two. It's generally, the first one will get people, or the second night shift will get you. Uh, and you just it just comes and you don't even see it coming half the time you just be either working away or you'll stop for five minutes and then next thing boom you, you start getting the nods and you're like well shivers what right I need to focus here and reassess what I'm doing <laughs> but uh, yeah you get that there's not much we can do <clears throat> part of the job um, right do have a bit of news for you um, bits and pieces here that I did find <clears throat> Razor uh, tush, tushy, tushy. It's a, basically a little joystick that goes over the top of your phone. So <clears throat> obviously, game phone gaming has become hugely popular. A um, bit of a pain on the phone. I can't stand it. My that's why the best thing about when Apple first brought out the phone, the best the reason I went and got one straight away after I seen it in New York while I was on holiday, was that the numbers were really big to push to dial a number. That was the biggest selling feature for me when the iPhone, first iPhone came out. Because the old, my old Sony Ericsson and the Nokia's, the stupid little plastic buttons you can barely see and touch. And now all we have now is texting on stupid tiny little buttons exactly like we might as well not even change phones but yeah it's a game that's what gaming i just can't do i need a joystick <clears throat> but anyway i i digress <laughs> the uh <clears throat> this little razor system is not a bad little system uh it basically slots on the end of your phone both ends only android no iphones so you won't be able to play or use it for your gaming it only syncs up or links up it's got a usb-c obviously, then that's another reason why I hook up with Apple, that it goes, a little cord that goes straight into your phone to connect and do all the stuff it needs to do. Um, now, it's plasticky, it looks similar to, I guess, an Xbox controller, sort of cross between an Xbox and a PlayStation controller in the one. Um, form factor, it fits on the phone. Uh, Linus had it on his show. Uh, fit on the phone really good. I The joysticks aren't removable like on your DJI controllers, the new ones where you can remove the thumb sticks so they don't break off within your bag. And I think the biggest thing for 80 bucks US for a bit of plastic, which is ridiculous, um, that's over 100, probably 120 bucks Australian or 100, at least 110, you don't get a case for it. So you, you I mean, talking about portable gaming because it's on your phone so it's going to be young kids either at school or out and about in parks and buses and stuff yeah they're going to have backpacks but you're going to throw this controller into your bag with these little poxy plastic joysticks sticking out and they're going to take no time at all with kids because they throw their bags they get into fights all sorts of crap those joysticks are going to get broken off and you're down a hundred bucks plus so I think uh, Razer, if you are listening, uh, I think yes is a good idea. Works really well, obviously for the gaming side, but I would either make it 
pull the so you can pull the joysticks off. I think DJI put it so you can put the joysticks in the front of the controller and just or some part of it just clip them into the side of the controller so you can't lose them. Or give it a little EVA foam case that you can put in there and remove the control arms and stick them into a little hole. I think A, you could probably chuck another 10 bucks onto your price for it. People will pay for it if they get a nice case that sort of pimps it out a bit, I guess, as well. Uh, and it's going to protect your gear so they can just chuck that straight in their backpack and not give two shits. It's going to survive no matter what. So <clears throat> that was my biggest thing with it. Uh, I think it's a if you're into that gaming, you definitely need one. Playing on the phone's a pain in the ass. Tapping the screen, it's annoying on your thumb, and it just you get real no real feedback. So definitely a good idea. Just need to finesse it a little bit more and make it so it's not going to break. So um, Delkin, uh, which is a memory card maker, uh, announces the first two terabyte CF Express card. Wow. Uh, that's insane, isn't it? Uh, I remember when the I think it was Sandisk brought out the one TB SD card. That's just, that's just mind blowing. Now the stuff I've heard about that once they get once you get too much goes too big, it can be unreliable and they sort of crash. So you sort of aim mid range. Mid range is always a safe range in a card in the memory card, but for two TB on that, which is really good because the files are getting bigger. With, You've got 8K coming out on the R5, which is CF Express. That's going to be massive files. Uh, yeah, you need that extra storage because files are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So good to see them being ahead of the game on the memory side. That's really cool. Uh, read speed 7, 1730 megabytes, not megabits. I've now learnt that and I'm... Um, making a conscious effort to check when I'm checking uh, specs to see which one it is. It's megabytes, so it's the good one. Uh, and for read, so 1730 megabytes for read, write is 1430, so really, really quick. So that's awesome. That's gonna keep up with that 8K, 6K, 4K stuff really, really well, um, so I think it'll be hard. They've got a range from 65 gigabyte up to uh, two tetrabyte. And uh, yeah, not bad. Didn't have a price, they just released them. So I'm assuming it's gonna be out shortly. Um, that's good because the with the Canon stuff due out second or the sixth of next month, uh, there's gonna be a heap of CF Express stuff flying out the door. I know, um, oh, what's their names? <clears throat> there's been a heap of sales on, on CF Express lately. Um, so yeah, I think they're sort of all getting ready to for the flood of CF Express as a as a unit. Having said that, we did talk the other week about how SD cards are going to be able to expand the speed bracket and fly and match that CF Express. So it'd be interesting to see. I think we might sort of see a bit of a division. It's either you're either going to stay full SD or you'll say stay full CF. And that might be where Canons might be hedging their bets by keeping one slot CF Express, one SD, and trying to see where the market's going to play out and what the market is going to choose because whatever people want to keep buying, I guess is going to determine the form factor of how the memory cards. Much like when the mini disc came out, it was heaps better technology than the CD, but it was expensive, no one got onto it, so it just died out really quick. Everyone went back to DVDs uh, and Blu-ray, and then they faded away, and now we don't have anything like that anymore. It's all online streaming and hard drives, and now SSDs, so we've come a long way. So I guess it's just whatever the consumers want or what they feel is better, and, more co and generally that's more cost-effective. Um, CF Express cards, five to six hundred bucks a card over an SD card, uh, maybe on a, on a good quality one, maybe a hundred bucks to two hundred bucks. I think SD, if they can get those speeds right, you know, they obviously can do similar sort of storage. Uh, I think that may be the way we end up heading. So I think Canon might have been very smart of Canon. Um, be interesting to see. Definitely, I guess, for the ages, and I guess that'll track once 
years down the road if when they want it when you want to resell your R5 and actually now you can still use it because no one's using CF Express cards anymore but you can still use SD well then you can still use a camera where I think that new Nikon 650 is both CF Express so then you might have to do a firmware upgrade type scenario so anyway that's my thoughts on that <coughs> excuse me WWDC uh, from Apple that's end of this month 22nd of June not far away we're on the 11th today so 11 days to go super excited about that should be some big things R new rumor is we are going to get a new iMac a very squared off type uh, Mac Pro type display that XDR display something not like not super square but square edges very similar in form factor I think to the iPad Pro much as the phone is going to that square shape it appears that the new iMac which we've had for a long time and definitely due an update is ready to go and as soon as the WWC that's going to be dropping we're going to have a whole new range of iMacs and it's going to have a new form factor with it look at looking for that square square round bevel edge of the iPhone 5 uh, type form so that'll be interesting uh, and obviously they'll be announcing the new software so we're, we're on Catalina which as far as I'm concerned has been a bit of a disgrace and endless amounts of problems over the last 12 months with software in the forums I've had to deal with it uh, as I said I've said to you before I lost my iPhotos I couldn't put them on my phone for six months and Apple just walked away from me so I've been pretty pissed off about that so finally got it back when they finally did another upgrade um, but yeah definitely need a new software and hopefully it's a lot better this year it's I think out of all the years I've been with Apple, this, this is the first year that they've stuffed up, so you've got to give them a chance. Everyone makes mistakes. But yeah, Catalina has been a disaster, so I think everyone's looking forward to get find out what, what the next one is and get it here as soon as possible. Um, also, the rumoured Apple TV. Many years we've been talking about that. Um, it's been thrown around. It's last year, this year, that year, this year it's coming. I think... The rumours this year with it coming, I think it's probably more legit than in past, purely because the new ARM chips. We've talked about Apple's going into making their own chips, so no longer will they be Intel from next year. We could hear more about that at the WWC. They might actually start releasing, might have a release in a laptop for us with an ARM chip. The iMac possibly could be ARM chipped and this Apple TV, probably likely if it does come out, if it gets released now, or in September, or this year, or next year, we'll have an ARM chip. Everything's going to go that way. That's that five Newton, uh, five nanometer, uh, twelve core chip. So it's going to be pretty next level. And yeah, I think they're saying that with this Apple TV, they're rumouring it coming out. We don't know if it actually is because it's been talked about that many times and never come. But with ARM chips coming, it's a logical step to bring it out at the same time. Sorry, just turning that down a bit. So yeah, very interesting to see. I think this, uh, we're going to get a better understanding of the second half of the year come the 22nd of this month because we'll know what Apple's had to fix and change, what plans they've had to change, what stuff they've had waiting ready to go that they couldn't release uh, and how it's all going to work out so it's going to be a huge huge show i expect a massive live stream and a heat you're going to see every youtuber that's had not much to talk about in the last month uh, is going to be all over this like a proverbial such and such on a chocolate cake because i don't want to say it because pc we've got to be pc now world's changed we've got to bubble wrap everything as much as can anyway <laughs> okay, last but not least pretty cool thing if you've seen if watch unbox therapy like I do uh, Lou does a great job in his team and Willie do and, and the team um, I think it's about a year or so ago the 
Dievlet, I think that's how you pronounce it, Dievlet. The speaker, the portable speaker, looks like a big seashell. Uh, ridiculously loud sound, uh, like 5,000 watts or something ridiculous. Worth about four grand American, so it was like six or seven thousand bucks Australian. <clears throat> Amazing speaker, uh, wicked bass, you could, you could do a couple up. Right, they've released a little baby, a couple of little baby ones, a 600 and there's also a 900. So you've got a 600 watt version and a 900 watt version. It's called the uh, Devilly at Phantom uh, Rocker uh, 600 Compact. It's, yeah, you've got the 600s at 1100 bucks US and the 900 watt at 1350. Um, roughly about two grand for that. Now, didn't really, you, I can't explain it too much. There's not much new stuff in it. It looks really cool. It comes in black. Uh, you can get black, I think white possibly. Uh, it's that same form factor, but just smaller. Obviously a little bit more affordable. So if you couldn't afford the three, the $6,000 one, you could definitely afford this. You can link up two of them to your phone. Amazing. The sound, yeah, crazy. Uh, MKBH had it on his channel and he cranked, I think he had the 900 watt one. He cranked it up and it had that exact same quality of sound that the big girl had. So it, uh, yeah, awesome and good to see that they brought out a little bit smaller. Uh, still got that wicked bass and pumping sound, but a little bit more cost effective and available to guys that are looking for something like that. So definitely one worth checking out and I think it'll, yeah, they are nice, they're, they're super nice. It would be cool. You probably wouldn't be able to, I definitely couldn't have it here. I can't even turn the beats, my little beats pill up uh, too loud because you, people are trying to sleep. So uh, it's tricky. But anyway, that's it. Another day. Um, yeah, not a monster wants to show but a bit there we're going to get a little bit done today and we're looking going into the weekend so i should be on track to get the video out by then hopefully i can finish the photos this afternoon i'll get up reasonably early it's nice i'm getting pretty close i've got a few more i've got to get through and clean up uh, once they're done oh it's just a matter of putting it all together getting the video as per normal i've said it a million times but yeah we're, we're looking pretty we're looking on par i think to Getting one out for getting this one out for the weekend and yeah, pretty excited. Some great photos. Just just gonna again as always. Lately, I've, I'm feeling very lucky that I can get such nice photos. But I've just had a really good run and it's hard, the hardest job I've got is picking which photos I want to put in there because I've I've got some pearls, lady, and I'm pretty excited about it. So all the hard work's paid off. And anyway, thanks for your support. Being in this journey, it's been fun. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, we do this Monday to Friday, this uh, Another Day Another Vlog series, and also then we've got all my photo journey videos, my testing, my fishing videos, everything else on the channel. There's a little something there for everyone. That's about it. Bye, Del. I'll see you all tomorrow. Stay safe, and see you soon. We'll be going that way, and that way. I'll catch you in the AM. Yeah.